types of squash. In fact, there are more than 100 varieties of squash, and they're all good to eat. People have been growing and eating squashes for as long as 10,000 years, almost as long ago as the end of the last ice age. It's probably the first plant that humans started growing as a crop, so when you eat a squash, you're eating the same food as one of our Stone Age ancestors. On this farm, they grow pumpkins for Halloween and for eating. These pumpkins are planted out in May and June to make sure they are ready to send to the shops in time for early October. The baby pumpkin plants are grown from seed in a greenhouse for about four weeks. When they are large enough, the farmers use a tractor to plant them in the fields. The plants are placed in the ground this far apart. Because the leaves and pumpkins can grow really big, they need plenty of room. The plants start to grow sprouting vines. The vines spread across the field and after six to eight weeks they flower. The flowers will turn into the pumpkins once they have been pollinated. On this farm, the soil is really fertile and holds lots of water. In fact, there is enough rainfall and water in the soil to give the thirsty pumpkin plants all that they need. After another four weeks, small pumpkins appear on the vines where the flowers used to be. It takes a further four to six weeks for them to grow to the right size for picking. In September, this farm starts to pick pumpkins that are between 500 grams and 10 kilograms. That's a really big pumpkin. The team go through the field cutting the pumpkins from the vines. Then they use a special machine called a harvesting rig. The pumpkins are picked, put on a conveyor belt, then washed. and then transported to the polytunnels and glass houses for storage. They handle the pumpkins very delicately because they can be easily damaged. When the stores are ready for their pumpkins, they are packed into crates and sent to the supermarket.